ever since the last time I looked at my um, Infogram's Atari collection, um, I've managed to acquire, last time I did it, which was last year, in January 2017, I had 72 games. I did purchase a couple, I did um, get rid of a couple as well. I gave some of them to my um, local game place, which is called Game Over, where I sometimes go to, and that's where my best friend James Price works at. And um, so um, now we have 97 titles, three more and then I'd be 100. And today we're going to look at only the newest um, titles that I've acquired. I won't be showing the older ones. Right then, let's get started with Chaos Control. So here is Chaos Control, the um, Saturn version. It was originally a CDI title released in, I think, 1995. And then it was brought to the Sega Saturn in, nine, in the same year by Virgin Interactive. Which is strange because... Um, it's an Infogram's title and Virgin published it in Japan. But then it was um, sort of fixed up and released in Europe as Chaos Control. It's somewhat different to the... Um, to the... Um, to the Japanese version. And in fact, this version was later re-released again. And then it was even ported to the PlayStation by Virgin, but that version never saw the light of day outside Japan. It's a shoot 'em up. I think I said it was released in September of 1996 in the UK, developed by Infogrames Multimedia, which is basically the um, European subsidiary of Infogrames. It comes in that um, terrible packaging Sega Saturn Games came in. It has their logo on the back with the armadillo walking. And um, it was one of three games from the company released on the Saturn. The other two being Alone in the Dark 2, one Eye Jack to Revenge. And um, some other title that was only released in Japan by Virgin. There we go. Next title is V-Rally, which I did showcase in a video I uploaded onto my second channel back in February of last year. But I decided to show it again because I wanted to do it as an update video. So... Here it is. This is the PS1 version. It was later released on the PC. The original version from Infogrames Multimedia and not the um, re-release from Eden Studios. Um, it was later re-released under the PS1 Platinum lineup. And it included an extra car as well as support for the DualShock um, controllers. Next up is Missile Command from Hasbro Interactive. The PC version, I've already shown the PS1 version. And here is the disc. Um, I've modified the case, I removed the little things on it because the instruction manual um, is a multi-language one. Here it is. And here is the back. Well, it is a little bit big, the instruction manual, so it had its own little cover front. There it is. And then here comes its, um, and here comes its big box, which just fell down. Um, the box, I'd say, is in pretty good condition. There's um, there's not much fading. There's a couple of wear and tear, like, right over there. It does look a bit faded, but it does. But I prefer that rather than having no box at all. Here is Pong, the next level. Um, PC again, also from Hasbro. Um, I got this brand new for about five pounds and it also had a little advert for other hasbro titles on the ps1 and pc yeah yeah i got this for six pounds mint in box and here is the box it's still in top notch condition still wear and tear on it but it it was shrink wrapped when i got it so here it is And then here's Cubert, PC version from Hasbro once again. And here is the disc. It doesn't work, unfortunately, on my computer, but at least I still have it. Here's the box. Um, it's got a, there's a large tear on the box, but um, the box otherwise is in good condition, apart from, of course, the wear and tear on it. Next up is Centipede on the Dreamcast, um, well basically a port, 
Um, it was only released in North America, and all of my North American only titles are burned because of how easy it is to burn Dreamcast titles. Here's another burned game for the Dreamcast, Test Drive 6. I don't have the PS1 version any anymore since I um, burned this version. I made my own covers for it, but some of them are really, really small. Maybe a bit too small, so they're very flimsy. Here is a genuine title, Worms Armageddon, which was released in Europe. It was released under the Microprose banner rather than like Hasbro, but it was still published by Hasbro. And here's the disc and the instruction manual. I do like the um, little um, case. Look. I do like the little disc though in case. I think it's quite, quite nice. Here is Nerf Arena Blast for the um, game for the um, PC. Or Nerf Arena as it's known in the UK, but I prefer to call it Nerf Arena Blast. Um, this isn't a pretty easy to find game. Um, it didn't sell well and um, finding copies of it are pretty rare. But my copy has the box as well. The box is virtually impossible to find in some cases. Um, unless you want to purchase it for a ridiculous amount. But yeah, there we go. Big box Nerf Arena Blast. Here is Army Men Air Attack, which from the 3DO company. Strange because my other Army Men titles don't have the Infogrames logo on the back. Infogrames distributed this one in all region, in all power regions for some reason. I thought they only distributed them in France. Most in, um, most in, um, like in Spain, you would see Virgin Interactive distributing the titles instead. It says Bonnier Multimedia. It there's no instruction manual at all. It did not have one. V Rally 2 Expert Edition from Eden Studios and Infograms. Basically the enhanced version of V Rally 2 Championship Edition on the PS1. Here you go, here's the genuine disc, but it doesn't work for some reason. It always freezes. And I don't know why. So, um, so luckily enough, I decided to just burn the game instead, or well, the North American version, which is known as Test Drive V Rally. Right there. Or in, or on the PS1, Need for Speed V Rally 2, as Electronic Arts published the title there. The Dreamcast version of Frogger 2, which basically is a more enhanced version of the game. Probably just as much as the PC version is, I don't know. Here is Cubit. Yeah, all these Dreamcast titles, apart from the genuine ones, are burned. Um, there we go, I've shown Frogger 2 already. And here is Atari Anniversary Edition Dreamcast, a console version of Atari Anniversary Edition on the PC. Not related to Redux which I already have shown in a previous video. But last not least in this video is Daytona USA 2001, which Hasbro and Infograms published alongside Sega. There we go. In the second part, I'll show you my DVD case games that I've recently acquired. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. See you later and bye for now.